One of the main trends in off-grid PV is the increase in hybrid systems. The diagram on this slide indicates how a diesel-solar hybrid system works. The diesel generator can be connected directly to the inverter to provide the alternating current boost. When the batteries get to a certain level of discharge, the inverter detects it and sends a signal to the diesel generator to start working. The energy produced by the diesel generator, depending on the type of inverter in the manufacturer, can be used for either consumption plus battery charging or just for consumption alone. This type of system requires a diesel generator with an automatic starter capable of reacting to the signal from the inverter. Check with the manufacturer of the diesel generator that it can operate with these types of inverter. And here's an example of another hybrid system, solar and wind energy. This is being studied at several R&D centres because of the excellent correlation between wind and solar resources and also because of both resources being renewable. The difference in the connections between these systems and the diesel generator of hybrid systems is that normally both the solar and wind generators are connected by a DC bus rather than an AC bus as in the case of the AC generator. The box in the bottom right of the slide sets out the main features that need to be checked to see if a solar plant's location is also favourable for wind generation. Normally a hybrid solar wind facility requires careful data gathering and study. There's not much information publicly available on these kinds of facilities at the moment. Here the wind generator and PV generator are connected by a PV bus to the batteries. It's also possible to add diesel generation, in which case the diesel generate, generator would connect directly to the inverter. This is one of the reasons why some of the inverters also include a battery charger. Improvements in electricity consumption are usually considered whenever off-grid generation is suggested because despite recent cost reductions, energy from off-grid PV systems tend to be much more expensive than energy from the grid, even if batteries are used. Therefore, it makes sense for every standalone facility to begin with the optimization of cons consumption efficiency. Here you have an example of uh, 260 euros per year that could be saved just by changing the fridge. An old fridge can consume as much as 800 kilowatt hours per year, where a new fridge will consume just 150 kilowatt hours per year. Changing fittings and devices can greatly improve energy efficiency. A switch from incandescent to LED lighting reduces power consumption by about 90%. A Class A washing machine is about 80% more efficient than a Class G machine. Then a series of smart grid projects are being researched by the EU and governments throughout the world. And commercial smart grid solutions are becoming increasingly common. The objective is not only to improve energy efficiency, it's also to minimise the environmental impacts of our energy consumption and to reduce our dependence on fossil fuels. Therefore, increasing the proportion and integration of renewable energy solution fits naturally with smart grid initiatives. As part of their drive for smart grid development, governments have set some goals. Improved control over the supply of renewable energy where intermittency can be a problem. Improved demand management where renewable energy is part of a solution during energy peaks. Improved international connections allowing consumers access to a greater range and variety of energy suppliers and improved energy storage through investment in R&D. The laboratory level breakthroughs in battery technology are coming fast and the development of new materials, particularly graphene, promises accelerated improvements in the future.